to another episode of Go Rails. This time we're talking about active record transactions and how they can be useful to make atomic updates to your database where you might be doing some complicated stuff against multiple models and you want that all to run at one time and also how this can improve performance of doing bulk changes in your database. So let's get into it. So the obvious example of this, which we'll get into, is um, building transferring money as a banking system where you need to deposit money into one account after you've withdrawn it from another. But that whole process of withdrawing, it could fail in between. And so if you don't return that money, that money is going to just kind of vaporize into the ether and no one will know where it went. So we never want that situation to happen. And so we need to make these two database changes at the same time and only accept it if both of them succeed. And that is where an active record transaction comes into play. Now there's a ton of other uses for this that you can imagine.